Musa Cisse finishes as the 24th ranked prospect in the ESPN 100 of 2020 after reclassing up from his original class of 2021. He is an elite athlete for his size and probably the very best shot blocker in all of high school basketball. As you can see, he's dominant rotating over from the weak side of the floor, but he's versatile in the way he can turn shots away. He can get back in transition. He can erase his teammates' mistakes. He's got a second bounce around the rim, uh, but he can also defend big guys in the lane, even guys who can match his size and strength. Here he is against Hunter Dickinson, who's about three inches and maybe 30 pounds heavier, still he's able to wall up and knock the ball away. Against Lance Ware, he has to contain the ball screen, get back, is still able to get himself in position, and again, come up with a block shot. So his ability to defend exceeds that of uh, just blocking shots. This is another area in which he is special, his ability to change ends. Watch him motor right up the center of the floor there. He is an elite rim runner when he is fully motivated. And offensively, that's going to be one of his best assets, how he can change ends uh, and beat opposing big men from rim to rim. And then, of course, finish emphatically in the half court. He's going to be a vertical spacer who can go up and catch lobs, finish uh, broken plays or little shovel passes when his guards are able to get inside the lane. He is as explosive a finisher as you're going to find, going to be able to step right in and fill that role at the next level. The other thing he's going to be able to do offensively is go get his own on the offensive glass and get second chance points, particularly in the pick and roll when he's able to chase the ball to the rim because he's able to get downhill and utilize all of his physical tools, including that seven foot two wingspan, those agile feet and the high level athleticism and quick bounce that we have already noted. There's still plenty he can work on offensively. His hands need to keep getting better. He's got to learn how to establish position in the post and then refine his individual offense with his back to the basket, including his ability to play and pass against double teams. He also has a tendency to let his overall motor come in correlation to his offensive opportunities. So he's a guy that, that needs to, a certain amount of touches to stay active on both ends of the floor. He likes to drift to the perimeter. He's got a decent little touch out there to develop, but he's certainly more effective inside right now. So overall, this is a guy loaded with physical tools who is a game-changing defender from day one and still has a ton of upside left to discover.